Hi, I'm Jeanette White for Piper's Quilts and Comforts in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today we're going to be doing a series of videos that are going to help you with any little problems you might have making this darling little pixie hat. We have these available in kits and they come in lots of different color combinations. And since you need so very little yarn to do this little face band here and the tie, we've pre-measured that out for you so it's going to save you some money. If you're interested, check with our website. We'll be glad to send you whatever you need. What we're going to do today is called an M1. It's an increase, and it's one of my very favorites because it leaves such a lovely professional looking pattern. You can see right here I have a central stitch, and you can see it again on the little hat right here. Um, that little central stitch has an M1 on the beginning side of it and the ending side of it. So let me show you how this looks. I'm going to do it first in a continental style and then I'm going to back it up and I'm going to do it in a European style so that regardless of how you knit you'll be able to find this will be very helpful for you. So I'm going to knit up to my central stitch and I'm doing continental first and you can see right here it's very clearly defined my central stitch is right here. With my left hand needle, I'm going to go behind this little bridge of yarn that's right here and I'm going to pick that up. The M1 stands for make one and that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm making one stitch. So I've picked that up. Now with my right hand needle, I'm going to kind of nuzzle that underneath and bring it up and knit it. It's important that that stitch get twisted because if it doesn't, then you're going to have kind of a large hole in your knitted fabric and you don't want that. Now I'm going to knit my central stitch just normally and with my left hand needle on the other side of my central stitch I'm going to come in from behind and underneath and pick that stitch up. You can see when I knit this it that, that stitch is twisting right there. You can see it right there and that twist is important. So the direction in which you do this does matter. Now I'm just going to knit that M1, that make stitch, just as the way I normally would. I'm going to unknit this here. Whoops. And I'm going to do that in your I'm going to do it in European style so that you can see how to do this regardless of what style you knit in. So let's get this backed up here. And we're going to be doing that in just a second on another video so that you can see how to unknit when you make a boo-boo. Okay, so I'm going to go into European style now. And of course, I'll be holding my yarn in my right hand as opposed to my left hand with continental style. And here's my central stitch right here. I'm going to come in from behind and underneath, pick that stitch up, twist it, and it'll twist automatically when you pick it up from the back, and just knit it. Now I'm going to knit my central main stitch just the way I normally would, and then, oh, we have a split yarn here, let me fix that. Then with my left hand needle, I'm going to come in from behind, pick up that little bridge of yarn, knit it, and there's M1. That wasn't so hard, was it? 